Hey guys, Danny from DanceTube.tv, and if you're new around these parts, then you can expect brutally honest tech reviews on the channel. And today I'm testing out the DJI Matrix Stereo, which is the Matrix Stereo audio system that they've set up on the Pocket 2. What does that mean, Dan? That means that there are four microphones on the Pocket 2. Got a mic on the front, mic on the back, and two on the sides. And basically, this is to address the biggest problem with the original Osmo Pocket, which was its audio quality. So with the Pocket 2, they've really tried to address that, and they've given us the four microphones. And I've noticed from my test so far that it does a really good job when it's on that front-facing mode. When it's on the selfie mode that I've got it in right now, it seems to really prioritize the speaker. Like, behind the camera, there are a lot of noises going on. There's a lot of wind. And from the, all the tests I've done, it does a really good job of prioritizing the speaker. But the problem is, when I flip it around and I use it like I would be shooting someone else, for example, maybe I'd be recording a bit of B-roll, or I'd be recording someone else, it seems to struggle then. So I think it's more so designed to be a vlogging setup when you have it on the selfie mode here. And I guess the previous audio test I did before wasn't as thorough. I've now got it in the pro mode, and I've got it with the four microphones enabled. So all of them are set up. This is the, the Matrix Stereo, such a cool sounding feature. Um, and I think like I'm, I'm setting up for my review, which will be coming out very soon, of the Pocket 2. And I think one of the biggest concerns, or the, the biggest like negative things that we could say about the original Osmo Pocket, was this audio quality. So from the tests I've done, it looks like they've really addressed that. You know, when you look at it on paper, the Pocket to the Pocket 2, there's no major change. Like, aesthetically, they look pretty much the same. Um, there's a slight improvement in terms of the lens, slight improvement in terms of the features that are available on the Pocket 2, but for the most part, it's the same offering. It's the same body, it's the same experience. It's not worth it for people who own a Pocket to get a Pocket 2. But I guess when it comes to something like this, like an actual vlogging setup, like I've got the camera maybe 30 seconds away, 30 seconds, 30 centimeters away from my face, maybe more, um, maybe 45 centimeters away from my face, let's say. Um, and this is like the ideal kind of vlogging setup for people. Really lightweight, so it's not actually hurting my arm, it's not crazy heavy, super easy to set up. And I think for a lot of people who wanna get into vlogging, this could actually be the answer to your questions. This could be the answer to your dreams, you know? Why would you want a massive cumbersome gimbal that takes forever to set up? Why would you want to calibrate it every time, make sure it's weighted properly every time? Then you take the camera out and you also have to mount a microphone on top or a wireless receiver and then a mic on you. Like if this is good enough for you, if the audio sounds good in this test here, um, then this could actually be a really, really good alternative for you guys because it's, it's super reliable, you know? Like when you've got it set up in the selfie mode, which is that vloggy mode, it's really reliable. It sounds great. So I think like I'll walk down here bit of a different kind of environment, not as much wind down here, a bit more isolated, um, and I'm pretty confident that it's going to come out very good. I haven't got it in the face tracking mode this time, I've just got it on that kind of front facing mode with me, and again, it's been really reliable. So I think, I'd love to know in the comments below, like, what are your thoughts? Is this usable audio? Is this something that you would use for your own vlogging setup? You know, if it's not high quality enough, I'd love to know, like, what system are you using already? What microphone are you using? What camera are you using? Because, you know, it depends what boat you're in. If you're starting out in the vlogging space, you know, the barrier to entry, you, you want to make that the easiest barrier to entry possible. You don't want to make it a cumbersome gimbal system and then you've got to figure out what mic to use and what gimbal to use and what camera to use. And it makes it so overwhelming that a lot of people just won't even bother doing it. And that's the problem. Like people won't start the vlogging process because there's too many steps, there's too many hurdles to jump through. But if it's as simple as powering on a camera system like the Pocket 2 and then just talking to the camera, if it's that easy, then a lot more people are gonna be vlogging. A lot more people are gonna to want to get into the creative film space. And to me, that's a massive positive. You know, like the biggest kind of problem for a lot of people is that it's too confusing or complicated or how do I do this? How do I set it up? What do I get? Like there's so many options, there's so many cameras, there's so many mics, what do I do? And if they can get that all in the one unibody system that you can literally just put in your pocket, like this is how it's housed. You just slot it in here when you turn it off. It's a hard case, so you just put that straight in your pocket and it's that simple. So I'd love to know what you think in the comments below. Is this a viable vlogging option for you guys? 
let me know if um, if you're using it as a vlogging camera I'd love some links below like if you've got some YouTube videos of you using this let people know because this could be a really exciting thing for people to get into that vlogging space and like I've said if the reason you're not doing it is because there are barriers in the way then remove the barriers get something that ticks all of those boxes straight out of the box then you don't have to worry about setting a camera up setting a gimbal up figuring out what mic to use figuring out how to do it like just make it easier for yourself that's gonna make the creative process a lot more enjoyable for you anyway guys thank you so much for watching make sure to have a fantastic day and peace out.